Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick unboxing and a quick comparison of the new Realme Buds Air 2 with the previous generation Buds Air. That was the first one. These are the Realme Buds Air that was launched earlier and uh, they were pretty good for the price. They did come with some of the, uh, I mean, market first kind of features and uh, they had a gaming mode. But now this time there are some improvements done to this uh, and now the Realme Buds Air 2 comes with those improvements and uh, one of the major improvement here is the ANC so active noise cancellation is now one of the major improvements and the other one is the design of the earbuds so these come with the in-ear design this is something that is important for ANC obviously so uh, you'll see this happening in some of the future earbuds as well from Realme and uh, uh, the reason for that is they are now trying to bring ANC into more and more earbuds and that's when you see that uh, the in-ear design is going to make ANC a much better feature. So now if we talk about the major features, we'll talk about it in some time first. Let me quickly unbox and show you what comes in the box package. Before that, here are the major features of uh, the Realme Buds Air 2 active noise cancellation up to 25 decibels of uh, noise cancellation and then you have 25 hours of total playback and that is without the ANC activated. The super low latency mode comes with 88 milliseconds of latency and there's a 10 mm hi-fi base boost driver, transparency mode and uh, fast charging in which it's a total of uh, 60 minutes that it takes to charge from 0 to 100% but if you charge the earbuds for 10 minutes it would give you about 120 minutes of playback. The MRP here is uh, given as 4999 expected to be around 3999 I guess. And the price should be around that because if it's more than that obviously this is going to be competing with the directly the uh, buds air pro which are actually a premium one and uh, they have a much better performance and i mean better performance in the sense that uh, i've used the buds air pro for quite a longer long time and this is just for a couple of days that i've used the realme buds air 2 so now a bit of a struggle in opening the box package even though i have already uh, opened it earlier as well so finally yeah Here's the Buds Air 2 and uh, the design this time is similar to the Buds Air Pro if you talk about uh, the box uh, uh, the case uh, design here. Uh, it's kind of smooth in every angle and uh, there's Realme branding and also the LED indicator towards the front. Uh, there's the USB type support towards the bottom and this time the company says uh, the stem design is different from uh, or the stem color is uh, different from this one so if you see this one um, the color of the stem is different from the earbud color and lifting this out is easier according to what the company has mentioned lifting out uh, the earbuds from their place is uh, pretty easy and uh, that is after they took the feedback from the previous ones from the users who used the previous one that's the uh, realme buds air uh, let me place this back and show you that as well so these are the realme buds air the previous generation one and taking these out was a bit harder and obviously the design was different so these, these were the regular design not the in-ear one so if we compare the design of these two you'll see uh, quite a lot of difference uh, so let me pull out the right one from here as well so this is how they look like and uh, the in-ear design is actually uh, much more comfortable at least for a lot of users because uh, the standard design is a bit larger though this sits perfectly well into the ears but you don't have an option of uh, these ear tips and uh, this doesn't fit every ear that similarly when compared to this one that easily because this has small large and medium sizes for the ear tips and you can change them based on your uh, ear size and the stem here uh, is kind of a steel designed and it has uh, multiple microphones for the active noise cancellation to work and these are the pins for uh, charging the uh, earbuds and uh, the first time we'll have to pull these out and then uh, place them back in the case so that the earbuds can now start charging themselves. So as soon as you place this uh, the LED indicator blinks and this will be ready for pairing. Now let me keep these aside and start checking out what else comes in the box package. So you have the booklet that's the user guide and uh, uh, some of the similar features from the previous generation is uh, one of them is the touch. Uh, controls so that's something which realme has been offering even in the budget series and everywhere mostly uh, you have the usb type c cable on one side on the other side you'll have the ear tips uh, so there are two uh, two pairs of ear tips the medium one comes as default and there's a small and large option here as well so you have everything uh, included in the box package now coming back to the 
earbuds as i had said uh, th this is the realme buds air and this is the realme buds air 2 uh, now we'll talk about the major comparison here about uh, both of them i mean whatever is the difference between these two uh, let me now give you a quick understanding of uh, what are the difference here differences here so the realme buds air 2 comes with the ipx5 certification for the earbuds not for the uh, case for the earbuds this is real uh, ipx5 the realme buds air had ipx2 so that's one difference uh, it's better in terms of water resistance the realme buds air 2 so that's the first difference then as i had said the, these come with the in-ear design so that creates a better seal and uh, that helps in not just the active noise cancellation but also um, I mean the active noise cancellation doesn't apply here in that sense uh, what I'm trying to say is that if it creates a proper seal when you place it in your ears uh, the noise isolation helps in a better ANC output for you to hear and that's when you'll feel like yes it's uh, the ANC is working much better way and the driver size is different the Buds Air had 12 millimeter driver while the Realme Buds Air 2 has a 10 millimeter driver and then obviously there's no ANC in the Buds Air while it is now there on the Buds Air 2 there's also the transparency mode uh, which is uh, present on the Buds Air 2 and one uh, compromise which you can clearly see here is that the Buds Air case had wireless charging and that was something I loved as a feature but the company surely they know a lot better based on the market size that they have explored and tried to sell these in. They said that most of the users don't really care about the wireless charging at least in this category. So I would kind of agree with that because I personally used the Buds Air a lot and I used to charge them in my car when I'm uh, driving and my car had a wireless charger uh, inbuilt. So I, I could easily charge this but obviously for someone who doesn't have a wireless charger they won't buy a wireless charger only for the case to be charged. If they don't own a uh, smartphone that has wireless charging obviously you won't see that user buying a wireless charger separately for this. So it does make sense for uh, not having a wireless charging uh, feature into this one because that adds to the cost in a way and uh, it's a certification that the brand has to get and they had to pay for it. So obviously not having wireless charging might seem like a compromise to some users who might be shifting from this to this one but if you aren't then it's not a big deal i mean no wireless charging is still not a big deal now for the battery life the buds had uh, the realme buds air had three hours of battery life for uh, the single ear but while the total battery life was 17 hours and that was a single case because there's no anc so obviously there's no different uh, battery life uh, cycles or battery life uh, outputs here you'll have two ways uh, if you have the ANC turned on uh, then the total battery life would be around 22.5 hours uh, and uh, if it's without ANC so if you're using it regularly then a total of battery life is of about 25 hours and the buds single bud would give you about 5 hours which is a major improvement from the 3 hours on the realme buds air and the gaming mode is now improved gaming mode can still be activated from the app and it's improved now uh, the gaming mode's latency is reduced to just 88 milliseconds so if you are into gaming i personally would still prefer having a wired solution rather than a wireless one because obviously in games like pubg mobile or any fps games you don't want any delay and that's when wireless even 88 milliseconds won't give you the best of the experiences but still it's better than what the buds air had to offer earlier so you would see that difference here if you are uh, trying to compare these two 88 millisecond is a much lesser latency now and that's one other improvement and uh, within the app i mean they both have the same app control and uh, you'll see them uh, in the realme link application but one major difference is that the realme buds air 2 has newer uh, presets uh, some of the presets that uh, are included include the dynamic and bright and one is the base boost plus so these are the new presets and realme is offering them only on the buds air 2 right now the company says that it's not easy to implement the same on every year but because it's hardware plus software that has to work together here so the buds air won't have those features while the buds air 2 will have that and uh, those presets are only for this one while you also see a button on the case of the buds air which is not present on this one so whenever you open the case it is ready for pairing and the google's uh, quick pairing or whatever those features are they are present on both of them so there's no difference uh, over there so if we take a look at how different and which one is actually much better obviously the buds air 2 is much better but what are the reasons uh, for that being better firstly ipx5 
uh, apart from that this ANC up to 25 decibels with transparency mode then you have a newer chip as well R2 chip when compared to the R1 chip on this one and then you have uh, the presets uh, for the different uh, uh, audio experiences better battery life in terms of both buds and the case and then a better gaming mode as well with the 88 millisecond of uh, uh, latency and some of the common features include Google Fast Pair and also the wave detection. When you lift them off, uh, the uh, music would automatically pause. But now you'll have that option of even tweaking a few things there. And uh, other common control is the touch controls. So these are the major differences between the uh, uh, Realme Buds Air 2 and the Buds Air. I hope you understood and uh, it is easy to say that the Realme Buds Air 2 is a much better choice. Now obviously if you're trying to choose one of them, the case is smaller here on the Buds Air but the Buds Air 2 obviously has a better uh, designed the in-ear options and uh, that is one major advantage here and uh, if you are choosing among these two obviously the Buds Air 2 is a better choice but if you are trying to see if uh, the Buds Air 2 is a uh, but uh, upgrade i would say yes it is still an upgrade as well if you're trying to sell off the buds air and uh, get the buds air too obviously it's not a bad choice at all so that's it guys i hope you like this video if you do share and subscribe to some time for more thanks for watching see you in our next video